Hello everybody and welcome back to Spirit Fair. So today, uh, I'm not sure what we're gonna do. We're kind of waiting for Bev to get out of the funk she's in and I'm a little worried about her. <laughs> but until then, we're kind of stuck. I'm not entirely sure what we should do. Um, I just hope she's okay. I always hate it when the characters have to leave, but I know it's better for them. You know, it just kind of hurts. <laughs> Because you know eventually you're going to have to say goodbye to them. But that's what life's all about. You have to appreciate what you have before it's gone. 30 seconds in and we're already getting philosophical. <laughs> philosophical. I can't speak today. But I'm also, I'm really excited for the next update. I hope it's coming out soon. It should be coming out soon, right? It's the hyena and the bird. Uh, that are coming out. I'm so excited to see them and have them join the ship. I wonder what they're gonna be like. Maybe we'll get to see them sooner than later. I don't know when the update comes out. Maybe it already did. Probably not. Oh, she looks so cute. So sleepy. Whee! You know, once the last of the new spirits are added, un unless they're planning to do another update, I'm probably gonna have to restart my game because I wanna get all the achievements, right? But because I was being a little shit and I brought all of the sheep uh, or I brought two sheep at, to my boat at the same time, they didn't register. So even though I grabbed all the sheep, <laughs> I don't have the achievement. I think because the game was really confused when I somehow brought two sheep instead of one sheep. Cause like I really screwed it up. <laughs> I think like the second sheep was supposed to follow you anyway. But the problem is I made it follow a different way. I don't know. I just really messed it up. So <laughs> I don't have the achievement and it, it kind of hurts my feelings. So I got to get it. One of these days I'll have all the achievements. And it will be because I did what I was supposed to and I wasn't a little shit. It's morning! Who's hungry? Where'd you go? <laughs> I just woke you up. Oh, there you are. Would you like some breakfast? A pear. Oh, okay, you're already full. Can I have a hug? There we go. I was in dire need of a spirit hill. My mana was low, so was mine. I'm glad we got a hug. Sweet pea, are you hungry? I hope you have something handy to feed me. I, I should? Would you like... Um... What would you like? Um... Some fried rice I made like eight months ago? Thank you. Oh, my bones don't feel like it. Okay, no hug. Yum, 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 yum. Oh, here it comes. <laughs> I love it. When you can't find your cat, they turn into a balloon. That's just how it works. But you gotta wave for it to work. So if you can't find your cat in real life, just wave for a little bit and your cat will inflate like a balloon and then float to you. I've seen it happen. Oh! Oh yeah, I forgot, she wanted a laksa. Beverly wants her favorite food, fire glow, and that delicious powder of green. What could that be? Okay. Do I have fire? Wait. Do I have fire glow? I have a super saver discount book. <laughs> green, green, green. I do have fire glow. Alright, let's try. Or did I already make a laksa? Hang on. Did I make it and just forget? That sounds like me. I 
I genuinely don't know. Alright, let's cook. Fire glow. And milk? That's not it, but I don't have anything, so. What did that make? Chai latte! Ooh! Alright, that's cool, but that's not what I need to make. <laughs> Alright, let's make some flour. But what flour should we make, do you guys think? One of each? I would guess wheat. So I guess we'll start with that. Also, I was wondering, would you guys like it if I did a video explaining how to get all the cooking recipes in Spirit Fair? Like, as of the time of recording. Like, if they add more later, I can always add on more. But I think that would be cool to show you where to get like all the ingredients in one in one video and then maybe in another video show all the recipes. We'll see. I'll have to find the time to record that. I don't have an, a very good editing software, I just use the one that came with Windows. So, oh! Something new! Francis says, it's your lucky day. How lucky you must be. I've got a new errand just for you, fresh off the presses. Have a look-see. Oh, it's just an errand? Oh, a menacing sheep. Oh! It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, a PowerPoint. That is new. Okay, hang on. Wait, I already forgot. What did you want? <laughs> okay, cotton. Nebula. Cotton. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. That's not cotton. Huh? What? Oh, that didn't work. Ah, frickle frackle, I don't have the stuff. Alright, well, I need to plant- Oh, didn't mean to do that. Alright. Can you- I will come back. I will- Bring you back some cotton to get that. How do we get Nebula? I genuinely don't remember. Oh yeah! That, that. Well, I haven't done that in ages. Alright, let's go. I want to make more stuff with fire glow. I didn't know you could do that. Fire glow and chicken. Buffalo wild wings up in here. Oh. Hell yeah. Fido Rama delivery package. Ooh. Sawdust and milk. It is your friend Madison. As today is my last day, I will be signing off forever. However, I am leaving you in good hands. The people of Fidorama are trying something completely off the walls. I was promised that this mystery box was all the rage. Try it for yourself. What a great goodbye present. You gave me sawdust and milk. I don't know what kind of presents you get on Christmas or your birthday, but I don't think that's a very good one. But okay, if you insist. Mock gruel. Ooh, yummy. <laughs> Is that it? Oh, yep, okay, bye bye. Oh, and I got more mail. Looter's Literary Review. The first, the Adventure of First Order, Buck. Looter's Literary Review presents the first of the Crow's End Ink Lost Bounty. And remember, salt can be a treacherous foe when you are made of ice. See enclosed portolan chart for reference. What? <laughs> oh! 
A secret diving treasure? A chart. Huh. What's that all about? Where can we buy some cotton? <laughs> Onion, tomato, garlic. Potato, wheat, mulberry. Yes. Coffee, corn, linen. No, I need cotton. Where do I find cotton? Rice, leek, linen. I don't remember how to get cotton. Hang on, I'm looking this up. I can't remember. It says... Loneberg. Cotton, there it is. Give, give now. Give. Give me cotton! Finally. Alright, Buck. Buck, my buddy, my pal, my good friend, what is up, my guy? It came! You have to check this out! I subscribed to this magazine a few weeks ago. It's Looter's Literary Review. What? Are you kidding me? You don't know what it is? It's just the most epic treasure hunting magazine out there. Every issue has a very difficult and fantastic riddle to find lost treasures of the Crow's End Inc. And trading empire. They ferried goods from island to island. Before Raccoon Inc. became a merchant powerhouse, Crow's End reigned supreme. Of course, Theodore Raccoon started ambushing Crow's End vessels out of pure mercantile spite. The company collapsed after a few months of constant attack. That sounds like terrorism. Their wreckage still haunts our sea to this day. Entire shipments of valuables were lost at sea and never recovered. Until now! The answers are all here. On Crow's End, one Crow's End Inc. treasure chart per issue. That's the promise! The rest of the magazine is articles about living off the land, fighting your dreams when sleeping. It even has ads for crystals and dragon eggs. It's a pretty great magazine. The guy who writes it is called Casper Crayford. Obviously a pseudonym, for security reasons to protect himself from fans and raccoon ink. Anyway, I just got my first issue. There's an article on secret airwaves that can cook food in seconds. I'm going to read that right now. You should take a crack at the issue's riddle. I bet it's a hard one. Go ahead, open it up. Oh, wow, I did open it. You were sleeping, come back, come back. No, come back, slow down. We're back to where we started. I didn't mean to do that. What an adventure! <laughs> we went from one place to another. Oh, look at that. You got the Portolan chart, which is basically just a pretty looking treasure map. That will help you find the treasure more easily. It's an old map, so it might not be that easy. You can use it with the projector in the archive room B2522. Go try it! Alright, I guess we'll use the projector right now. It's more busy waiting for stuff anyway. Okay. Whoa! <laughs> hmm. That's ice. And then there's an X and some rocks. Whoa! What a great riddle! I bet you won't figure it out. I know where to look, but I've taken an oath. The looter's oath! Which states never talk about looting with another looter. You're on your own for this one, Stella. But... Buck's the one who's taken that oath. Let me find the voice. One second. Arr! Ahoy there, matey. Old Johnny Silverleg right here by me maiden's side. Hoist in the mansail. As an humble buccaneer, I could ne'er disobey me captain. The crow's ending treasures are an old corsair's dream. If you ever need it, I can offer up me cartography knowledge. 
Come see me if you're feeling lost on these seas. Arr! Good luck, Captain. Okay, I guess we have to look for the treasure too. Let's see, wheat flour. Oh, oh, it doesn't work with that. Okay, wait, I know what to do. Fire glow, rice. Ah, okay. So that must be how we make it. Do we have it, do we have it, do we have it? Laksa, we did it. Bev, where are you? I think she might be asleep already. I think we missed, nope, she's up. Bev! Oh! You got all the spices right! It smells amazing! Alright, let me give it a try. My stomach is basically a hot pepper at this point. I can handle it. Alright. La... La... Oh, I missed it. Where is it? There it is. It's just the right kind of tongue burning. I mean... That's incredible! You haven't lost your way around the kitchen. Wow! I can feel my sinuses clearing. Thank you, sweet pea. I suppose I got carried away a bit there. Sorry, there isn't any left for you. Don't you worry, I'll make it up to you. I know, I know, this was supposed to be a treat for you as well. Next time. Well then. Do you have a minute? Like I was saying, I've been having this dream. Don't worry, I'm not a monster. I won't start telling you my dreams. Well, maybe a little. So in my dream, I was using the projector in the archive room B2522. Then I was transported inside the images. The first image was... Let's see... Hmm... Oh, I remember! We went sightseeing in the city! We rented an apartment for the whole family! It was so luxurious! We had the whole week planned out. Museums, parks, restaurants... Obviously, Henry got sick on the first day. I remember staying by his side, knitting. The only thing he was able to do was draw. Poor thing. He was really obsessed with this cartoon show back then. It's probably just giant robots and men in tights. The apartment was somewhere in an old central district. It was supposed to be our home away from home. For a week at least. And the whole time I was eating a giant bag of sweet corn. That's dreams for you. They're always a bit foggy. Hopefully if you find that acetate it will jog my memory a bit more. Thanks again, sweet pea. You're a lifesaver. Ah. Okay. Find acetate in Old Central District. Okay. Beverly wants to share even more with me. Her life is full of interesting stories. I see. Oh! Didn't mean to do that. Yes! Yes! Oh, thank God! Alright, let's get looming so we can get this done. go. Alright, dude. Finally, here you go. Got it. Menacing sheep. Well, okay. With all that said and done, we're gonna end it here for today. Next time, we're gonna go to the old central district. We're going to search for that treasure that Buck found, and we're going to look at the menacing sheep thing on the projector. But until then, Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, please consider subscribing. Remember to take care of yourselves and have a good day.